VFX Conjurer, Terrorist, or Normal Cam. I'm gonna have to fix that with the channel. I'm pretty sure you figured that out. Yeah, you probably saw it. So, a lot of you, well, one of you, was kind enough to leave in the comments that you want me to show you a tutorial for the muzzle flash. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, first off, you're gonna have to get up your asset. Right here is the muzzle flash, which you're gonna have to do. Search up muzzle flash, Google. If you don't have what I have, it's called Axon Essentials. I'll go into deep, uh, I'll talk about it in deeper in another video. Sorry for stuttering, first video, eh, give me some props. Alright, so we're going to have to have a black background behind it. Uh, if it's a front facing shot, you're going to have to take this one. If it's a side shot, you can take this one. I've already taken the liberty of uh, downloading it to my desktop. You can search through the image and see, see one you like. So we'll go ahead, I use After Effects, you can use whatever else you have, but I don't know how to use whatever else you have. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this, we're going to import multiple files. Now here in my uh, documents is a file. Uh, this video I shot with a friend, his name is NYGamers10, check out his channel, he is pretty cool. Now uh, I want this video, we can open that up, and it's going to ask me do I want to import something else. We're going to go right to our desktop, we're going to click on our asset, and we're going to open that up. Since I don't want to import anything else, I can just click cancel. So you see it comes up right here in this window. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, and to double check if this is the one we want, we can just search through here, skim through it, we can click play, it's no problem. If you want to hear it with sound, right here in our preview, we can click render, ramp preview, sorry, uh, but now we can close this up, we can go back here, we can click on this, because since we know it's the one we want, we can drag it, this is the new comp. It automatically sets a comp to all of this, uh, to this settings. So right here, we can adjust the quality we want it to be. I left it at auto. You might not have fast enough RAM to always have it on full. You might have other things open up or different things. So now I'm just going to leave it for auto so this doesn't keep glitching out on me. So, as you can see, when we create a new comp, it has this cool little composition thing right here. You can click enter, and then you can click, uh, maybe call it muzzle. Muzzle comp, maybe. I don't know. Here is footage, and here is our asset. Now, you see it says 35 seconds. It's pretty long, and we don't want it to always render. So, for now... We're just going to go to our area that we want. We can skim through and see where is the area that we want to add the muzzle flash in. Uh, around here, we can just go through and see the point in time. This is where all the rendering is going to ha rendering is going to happen between this time ruler and this time ruler. So we can just adjust it so it doesn't have to render too much. You know, find the point in time. There we go. Maybe give it a little bit afterwards and then we can put this here. Also right up here you can adjust the zoom length or right down here. For now I'm just going to use this up here. Adjust it as such. And again if this is the only part of your video that you're, you want to use, not anything else in the video, you can just click on this and trim to comp work area. Since there are other things in this video that I do need, I will leave it like this. So we're just going to go through here and see where I shoot the gun, or the character. See, it can go right here, or right here, or anywhere you want, really. For now, I'm just going to leave it at this, around here, perfect. Now we have to take our asset, and we're going to have to drag it, and drop it down to this area, right here. Now. You see here, it pops up just like this. If we put it below, it means it's going to be below our footage. Since this is right above it, and it's taking lots of space, it's going to be right above it. So what we do, we, we click on this, and we drag it up above here, and here we see it come as this. Now, it's not going to only show the muzzle flash, because uh, we have a black background. What we can do, however, 
is go here, and now if you can't see this, you can't see the mode, you might have to click toggle switches, toggle modes. See, it might come out as this, but you can click on this. It's perfectly fine. And now we can go right here. We can go a bit lower. And we can search for screen. This is what we want. This will take away all the black parts and just leave us with what we have here. So it comes, as, it comes out as this, you know. It may not be in the position or scale you wanted, but we'll work on that. What we can do is we can click the W key, or you can go right up here to all our tools, and we can click on this, the rotation tool. See, and if you hover it long enough, it, it, it'll tell you the command you can click to activate the tool. Now, for now, we're just going to scale this around at this angle. Now, obviously, it's not going to be covering my entire body. So, uh, to go back from this, you can either click V, or just hover over it, see the command, or just click on it. So, what we can do is we can click on this, and we can drag, unless you want it to keep its size and not distortion it like this. You can, cl you can click, you can hold shift, and then you drag, you adjust it to where you want it to be. Obviously, that is not the angle, so we can click W, or just click on it, adjust it to the angle, V, to go back. Go right around here. Maybe the proportion isn't correct. Maybe you can scale it like this to fit it. Because obviously this pistol is not going to have such a huge blast. Just drag it. Maybe scale it down, scale it up. It's really up to you. Shift click. Maybe adjust it a bit more. And voila, we have it here. See, it looks like that and it keeps. And it stays such as such. What we can do to fix this is right here, our muzzle flash asset, we can zoom in a bit more. Most muzzle flashes are about one frame long, or at least I'd like to think so. So here's where it starts. We can click Alt Bracket, and it'll trim it to this, or you can just adjust it with this cursor, bring it down, bring it up, and here we have it to one frame, and we're zoomed in at the maximum capacity, right here. Alright, so if we can just skim through it, it looks pretty cool, but it just doesn't look real enough. Now what we can do is we can add smoke. Now I know most of you don't know where to get your smoke from or, you know, how to get it. Uh, in a later video I'll show you where, so we can just import file. And now this is what I was talking about, Action Essentials. We can click on this, we can click on Action Essentials 1 or Action Essentials 2. Now, I know that the smoke is here. We don't click on smoke, we can click on powder hits. Now, if you want to preview it before you take it in, you can just click space on a Mac, and voila. You can go through, see which one you want. It has a bunch of cool assets. Again, this is Action Essentials. They're not sponsoring me or anything. This is just really cool presets. I love it. I use it for all my videos. But for this purpose, I'm trying to use what, as much as I can as what you guys can get. Because I know you can't get this, it's costy and whatnot anyway. We can bring it down here. It can either be above. We can just click Command Move uh, with the left arrow key. Uh, what we can do is we can scale it, position it. For you, it could be above your muzzle flash, or it could be below. For me, I'll just leave it at below. Obviously, it's not going to be so huge, and it's not going to be very small. So what we can do, we can click, shift, scale it such, and voila. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the color. So what you can do is you can click on powder, effect, color correction. We can either go to tint or anything, but for now, I'll use curves. Now you can lighten it up, and as you can see, it's really nice. But if we don't want it to be so thick, we just want it to be nice and pale. We can click on we can click on the video. We can click T, or we could just bring this down, transform opacity right here. For now, I'll just uh, click T, and here's the opacity. If you don't want it to be so thick, you can just uh, click on it as such. Bring it down to 50%, uh, to maybe 
adjust it as you want to. For now, we'll leave it maybe at 7, 70%. That's perfect. So here, we have it nice and how we want it. After we're done with it, if this is all you want to do, we can take it. We're going to take it a step further and show you a cool little step. We can click on this to duplicate it. We can click Command D or Control D if you're on the PC. Or we can just go up here to Edit and Duplicate. So right here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this from what we've learned before. Click over here. We can click Alt Bracket. Go one step further and then click Alt Bracket. Now you don't know what this does. We'll bring this on top. And as we bring it on top, you won't be able to see any of the layers that we've just done. Don't worry, don't panic. What we can do over here, we can go to this. Remember, if you can't see it, toggle switches. Right here, go down, click on Add. As you can see, it's going to be just like this. You know, you don't want it to be like that. You can click on T, lower it to 50, maybe just so we can work with it or just maybe have it at 25% really adjust it how you want it to be now what this is going to be for is our light for instance if you were to shoot a gun it's going to have light on you environmental reaction or action so we can click on our masking tool or we can just click G so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in with your regular scroller and for instance, maybe it's going to have some light effect on the gun. You can just mask around it as such. And only this part will be illuminated. Now if you click here and just preview, it looks kind of wrong. It doesn't look like a regular light. To soften it, we can click on F. Or you could just go down here, go to your mask properties, and here's the feather. For now, I'll just click F. You can increase this, maybe keep it at 5, so the edges aren't so rough, you can barely detect it, it's nice, and it looks pretty cool. Now, obviously, it's going to have some reaction on my face, so we're going to click on this. Make sure you clicked on this, so you only mask this. We're just going to go over my face. It doesn't have to be as precise, it's just a little bit of light right here, and as you can see, the edges are rough. We can go here, we can click F. It's going to bring us both of the masks, since we do have two masks. I know this is the second mask, so we can bring this to maybe five. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Now, if you want to move around here, just you know, use your scroller or whatnot. And maybe, finally, we could have on my shirt, perhaps, or on this part of my body. So we're just going to mask really quickly. Our basic outline here, as we know. We can bring this down here, or just click F. Set it to 5 or set it to whatever you want. This is really depends on your video. So here it's nice we have it. But as you can see, I made it go for an extra frame. Now what could we do with that? So as the light comes in, we can have it, we can click T for the opacity, we can bring it back up to 100%. As you can see, it is very rough. If you don't want to keep it at 100%, which you'd have good reason not to. We can keep it at 25 or maybe bring it a bit higher but for now we'll leave it at this. You can click right here on this timer next to the opacity you can click on that and what this does is as you move through if you make an adjustment and you don't want it to be in this frame but you want it to be in this frame it keyframes it. So as you go through right here here it is you go through one more we can maybe have it go down a bit so let's put it at 15% so it fades out nice and smooth. We can have it again lower at 0% at the end. So it's a nice cool animation. We can click here and we can preview that. And here is the smoke. You know, if you're not happy with the smoke, you can go and find other smoke. But for now, this is what we have. And now we can just preview it. All right. When you want it to end, you can just click on this. There we go. There we go. Now there's a lot of other things we can do. I will have a advanced muzzle flash tutorial tutorial later on, but for just when you're finished, you can click on composite composition, add to render queue. Once you've added it, you can go to this. You can either double click on this to open up this menu, it's a more advanced menu, 
or you can just click right here you can choose your format you want it to open it with Photoshop whatever for now the best setting is QuickTime NTSC or QuickTime DV PAL and now here you're gonna click where you want it to go you can just double click you see it can show up wherever for now we can just save it to our for instance movies it doesn't have to be in that file we can have it anywhere in our movies maybe here maybe here for now I'll just put it the VFX terrorist so we can also adjust the name right here uh, muzzle comp we can save then it will just render oh here's a tip now if your work area is just adjusted to this it'll only render what is in here so you can just widen it and then widen it right here and it'll render the entire clip if you don't want it you can just click command Z or control Z to bring it how it was and that'll be all so we've set everything up we click render it'll just take its time and render it might not render that fast for you you might have added a few more assets whatever you know so right now we can go out here go right here open up finder or wherever you saved it on your PC I saved it in my movies we can go here to our muzzle comp we can click space to preview it and that's all I'll show you where I assemble all my clips on uh, I usually do it with Final Cut Pro if you're um, on a Windows you can use Windows Live it's really uh, I don't have Windows Live apparently you know so thanks for watching guys please comment rate subscribe share that would really help out tutorial videos will come out every Sunday and I believe Saturday every other week so one week Sunday Saturday next week skip it one week Sunday Saturday next week skip it yada 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 and we'll also have final cut tutorials so you know I'll go into a more advanced muzzle flash tutorial later uh, that's all for today thank you so much